Ever wondered how you would describe someone's appearance accurately? It's a skill worth mastering and today, you will learn just that. Picture this, you're trying to portray someone's image, but words evade you, you feel lost. But fret not, this video will break down the process into simple bite-sized steps. We'll cover everything from the basics to detailing facial features, even personality and style. So, are you ready to master the art of describing someone's appearance? Let's dive right in. To describe someone's appearance, you need to know the basics, the vocabulary and phrases that can help you paint a picture with words. Let's start with some of the most common features people often mention when describing someone. Hair and eye color. When talking about hair color, we have a plethora of terms at our disposal. You could describe someone as having blonde, brunette or red hair. But if you want to be more specific, you can use words like chestnut for a rich dark brown or auburn for a reddish brown. Similarly, eye colors can range from blue, green, brown to more specific shades like hazel, a mix of brown and green or steel blue, a very light almost grayish blue. Next, let's tackle height and body shape. People can be short, tall or of average height. For body shape, you might describe someone as slender, plump, muscular or petite. Remember, it's important to be respectful and considerate when describing someone's body shape. Now that we have some vocabulary, let's look at how we can put these words into sentences. If you're describing someone's hair, you might say, she has long wavy chestnut hair. Or for eyes, he has striking steel blue eyes. When discussing someone's height or body shape, you could say, she's quite tall and has a slender build, or he's of average height with a muscular physique. What if you want to describe more than one feature at a time? Combine them. For instance, she is a petite woman with short curly blonde hair and green eyes. Or, he is a tall muscular man with short black hair and brown eyes. These phrases might seem simple, but they're the building blocks we use to create a vivid description of someone's appearance. Play around with them, mix and match, and you'll soon find they can help you create a detailed, colorful image in the listener's mind. With these basics in hand, you're already better equipped to describe someone's appearance, but there's more to learn, so stick around. Now that you've got the basics down, let's delve deeper into the details, the facial features. These are the elements that add depth to your descriptions and paint a vivid picture for your listener. First, let's talk about the eyes. Are they large and round, giving a sense of innocence? Or perhaps they're narrow and sharp, exuding an air of mystery? The color is also significant. Are they as blue as a summer sky or as dark as a moonless night? And don't forget the eyelashes. They can be long and thick or short and sparse. Next, the nose. Describing a nose can be as simple as saying it's small, large or medium. But for more detail, consider the shape. Is it pointed, rounded or flat? Does it have a high bridge or is it more on the flatter side? Now let's move on to the mouth. The lips can be thin or full and the shape of the mouth can be wide or narrow. Remember to mention if the person often smiles, frowns or keeps a straight face. Lastly, the shape of the face. It can be round, oval, square or heart-shaped. Each shape gives a different impression and helps create a more detailed image of the person. You might also want to mention the skin. Is it smooth or rough, fair or dark, freckled or clear? These details add another layer of depth to your description. As for the vocabulary and phrases, you could say someone has almond-shaped eyes, a button nose, or rosy cheeks. You could describe a person as having a chiseled jawline, dimpled cheeks, or piercing green eyes. These phrases not only sound more appealing but also provide a more precise description. Remember, when describing facial features, it's all about the details. The more specific you are, the clearer the image you paint in the listener's mind. Describing facial features might seem tricky at first, but with practice, you'll get the hang of it. But don't go away just yet, we've got more to explore. A person's appearance isn't just about their physical traits, it's also about their personality and style. Let's learn how to describe these elements. When describing someone's style, we often look to their clothing and accessories. Are they dressed smartly, in a suit or a formal dress? Or are they more casual, preferring jeans and a t-shirt? Do they accessorize with jewelry or hats? Perhaps they have a unique style, like a vintage look or a love for bright, bold colors. Common phrases to describe style might include, she's got a classic style, or 
He prefers a laid-back look. Accessories can also offer clues about a person's style. A person with a penchant for chunky, colorful bracelets might be described as having a bohemian style. On the other hand, a person who always sports a well-polished watch might be described as sophisticated. Now let's move on to personality traits that can be observed. Is the person you're describing confident, often standing tall with a smile? Or are they more shy and reserved, perhaps looking down or avoiding eye contact? You might say, she carries herself with a lot of confidence, or he seems a bit shy. It's important to note that these are just observations and we can't know a person's full personality from appearances alone. There are so many words to describe personality traits. Some of these include outgoing, introverted, cheerful, serious, laid-back or ambitious. These words can help us paint a clearer picture of the person we're describing. In English, we often use the verb seem when describing visible personality traits. For example, she seems really friendly or he seems quite serious. This acknowledges that our observations might not be fully accurate as we're only seeing a part of the person's personality. Remember, describing a person's style and personality can often give a fuller picture of their appearance. Now let's wrap things up. You've learned a lot today. Now it's time to bring it all together. We've journeyed through the landscape of describing a person's appearance, starting with the basics, then delving into the specifics of facial features, and finally exploring the realm of personality and style. Let's take a moment to revisit each step. You began by learning the basics of describing someone's appearance. This included height, build, age, and skin color. You then moved on to the more intricate details of facial features, such as the shape of their eyes, the color of their hair, and the style of their beard or mustache if they have one. Next, you ventured into describing a person's personality and style. This is where you learn to describe a person's demeanor such as their typical mood, their style of dress, and how they carry themselves. Now let's put all of this knowledge to use with an example. Imagine a woman named Jane. Jane is of average height and has a slim build. She appears to be in her early 30s and has fair skin. Her eyes are almond-shaped and blue, and she has short, curly, blonde hair. Jane is always seen in casual attire and carries herself with an air of confidence. She is typically seen with a bright smile on her face, indicating her cheerful personality. And there you have it! With these steps and a bit of practice, you can describe anyone's appearance with ease. Keep practicing and soon it'll be second nature to you.